Good morning. Would you look at that sunrise? What a beautiful morning it is. Oh, it's a cold one, but man, so beautiful. We got the heat master going. We're gonna be making solar today. And we just got everything covered in snow. Logger should be done logging today. Let me take that back. The logger should be leaving today. They're all done logging. Now they just have to finish picking up all of their log piles and get them on the trailers and everything chipped up and cleaned up and all their equipment out of here. So that is done. We'll have to show you guys. Just can't get over that view. It's been so cold here the last week. I am so glad we have that inside project to do. We'll be finishing up that backsplash today. I am gonna get the animals fed, soak up some vitamin D. And then we gotta clean up the kitchen. It's a bit of a mess. We have stuff everywhere. The girls made me quite a few different birthday cakes. They are delicious. We'll be eating them for probably a week or more. The chickens are loving the sun. Look at that. Just trying to clean off the panels as much as I can. The more black that shows, the quicker the snow will melt off. You don't have to do this, but the more you take off, the quicker the snow melts off and the faster you make power. So if I didn't do it, we'd be making power in a few hours, but this will speed it up. Yeah, what a beautiful morning. <sighs> So we went to Lowe's last night and we looked around and we think we got our grout color. Or we got the color we're going with. We hope it looks the way we want it to look. We went with the, this one is the warm gray. It's the same color as the grout. This is a matching cock. So hopefully this matches like we hope it does. How would you, like, I know with the paint you can do it with your swatch. How would you do it with the, the grout? Like, you're not going to mix up a bunch and test, no. test it out and you have this little tiny thing to see the color and you don't really have many choices. No, so. and the grout we used in the bathroom is supposed to be a lot darker than it is and it's not. That was supposed to be like a really dark black and it's more like a charcoal gray. So this we're hoping matches. We'll find out. You we're better just, watch out with that thing. You're going to poke me right now. Poke in the eyeball. Your favorite part about the project, making all the messes, huh? All the messes, but I feel so good when it's cleaned up. Right. This is the last time, and this for this project anyways. I was say, really, is it really the last time? Just for this project. <laughs> so normally you pick your mortar to match the color of your grout, and we thought we were gonna be doing a white grout, so we did a white mortar. Well then we changed our mind, so we gotta make sure we get the mortar good, so that way we don't have any white sticking out through our grout. Well, at least we don't have like black inside, we wanna go white. Right. We're just over here getting some of the grill off one of the tiles and notice already that we had some splashes from cooking. We have only cooked in here a couple times with this tile on here. So that's one of the reasons why I have a backsplash fail to have the walls protected and easy cleanup. So already it's proving to me it was needed. So we're just gonna make a quick iced coffee, give us a little bit more of a pep in our step. And this recipe, I think I got it off venison for dinner a long, long time ago, and it's a favorite. I only do it once in a while. It's maple syrup, and we have cold brew, and then we have our milk, and then a little bit of salt and ice, and that's it. Give it a good shake. I think that's really what makes the ice and shake and get that little bit of foam. All right, I think we got it all. We gotta wipe the countertops down, mask them off again, get the plastic off, and then we can start grouting. And then while we'll, while we're wiping everything down, we'll just keep it, our eyes out and see if we see any mortar we got to clean up. This is the tedious part. It just takes a lot, a while to keep looking over everything, but it makes a big difference in the end.
What do you call a guy that specializes in tile floors? I don't know. Tyler. <laughs> Is that funny? Uh, I guess so. Mom joke. Do they have mom jokes? I thought they were just dad jokes. I don't know. better than your joke. No joke? That's right. All right, you ready, Tyler? We'll get some plastic on. <laughs> Get to reuse our plastic. Time to mix up some growth. Trying to get serious. Once this product is done, I have some major cleaning to do to this sink because it is a mess. But I'm just gonna get it messy, and once I clean it, it's gonna be done because it's just gonna keep getting messier and messier with this project. It's coming handy to have though. It's definitely coming handy, and it was even more handy when we had everything covered up and couldn't use that sink just to even just wash our hands or do little things like that. So. We're loving it. Once I get my plants out here, which will be, we don't want to go too soon. So I don't want my plants to get too big before I go plant them. But soon we've been thinking about that, getting in the process of planting on that. But this will be nice to keep all the water and everything out here. Yep. Okay, here it is. It smells a little fruit loopy. Does it make you fruit loopy? All right, so that's about half the bag. It's like making bread, make you a little hole. Just don't eat this. Right. they say to let it sit for five minutes give it another quick stir and then you can apply it so I think they want you to let it like thicken up a little bit make sure you get all the chunks out and then you can use it well I think that'll be one of the last log trails we see go by the house they just came up from above from the first landing they were working. They had some logs up there they had to get and they have enough down below to fill up that trailer. So they have a good sized trailer load of logs. That is the hardwood logs. So that is awesome. I think they have a few more trips to make today and that'll do it. I just remember we had this grout sealer from our shower. This is from when we did the niche and we were reading it and it says you can use it for before you grout. You wipe down your tiles and it'll help release the grout when you go to wipe it all off. So we're gonna give it a try. All right, and this time we got our floats right from the beginning. So I'll we'll start on this wall and work our way this way. What do you think of the color? I'll have to wait and see. I think it's good. <laughs> I like it. It'll probably dry a little bit lighter because when it's a powder in the bag, it was lighter than what it is with the water. So I think it'll probably be like between this color and what it looked like in the bag as a powder. Here it is. This is going to be the truth.
think that's a good consistency. It's almost like toothpaste. So it's not like too runny, right. but it sticks in there. Correct. Let this set up, wipe this area down, use the full bucket. That's about half of the mix. And then we'll mix another batch up and then we'll do that side. We'll get this side all done. I don't know if you're like me or not, but the older I get, the more I think about investing in retirement. That's why I want to thank Genesis Gold for sponsoring today's video. Genesis Gold is a gold company where you can go and buy gold and you can have it delivered right to your door by an insured shipper, which is kind of crazy. I never knew you could get gold delivered to your door. If you want to open a precious metal 401k or IRA, Genesis Gold can help you with that. If you want to transfer an existing 401k or an IRA over to precious metals, gold, Genesis Gold can help you with that. I like investing in gold because it's tangible. I like this rock. It's solid as a rock. It is a rock. It comes from the earth. It's something tangible that you can just always have. Just the older I get, I'm just always thinking about investing in retirement, being able to leave something for Olivia if we want. So Genesis Gold helps us do that. And I just feel comfortable having something tangible, some gold, something that is like real. That's how I feel about gold. If you're thinking about investing in gold, check out Genesis Gold. All their information is in the video description down below. This is not investment advice. This is just who we use and why we use them. I am not no professional investor at all. I just know I like to have something with some substance to it, something real, and that is gold. So if you guys wanna check out Genesis Gold, click the link in the video description down below. Thanks Genesis Gold for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the build. All right, I wanna see if I can scrape off some of the bigger stuff so we're getting our sponge water less dirty. It's like a scratch ticket. That's it? A little bit. This is the life. Maybe this. All right, let's give it a try. So the grout is like twice as dark on camera than it is actually seeing it in person. All right, I think that looks good. We'll let this finish drying and we'll mix up another batch to finish up from here all the way over. As much of a pain as it was to do all these little tiles up above, they look so nice. I'm glad I took the time to do it because now that they filled in with grout, it's sharp. Right now we have just a little bit left. That was really silly of us not to buy two bags just in case because we don't have to run it in the middle of a project. Yeah, but we used a lot less mortar than what they said we were going to. Okay. But now we're using more grout because there's use. a lot more lines where the thin set, you don't put it on as thick as a regular tile, but you use more grout. Right. We could have bought two bags and if we didn't use it, return the other one, but sometimes returning is a pain lot too. So hopefully we have enough because we don't want to have to run out in the middle of this. Don't waste of that. Oh, don't waste. I'm just trying to make sure this 
top edge is built in nicely. I can't do it with the trowel, so I'm kind of smushed it with my fingers. How's that working? Ooh. It's working, but it's slow. We're both avoiding the area behind the sink. It's a little bit hard to get by there. We're gonna be close on mud. We got from here to here. That's what we got left. We should add a little bit, teeny tiny bit of water. No? He told me not to waste any, and I see him slinging mud over there, so. I guess it's not really mud, slinging grout. So he's really the one wasting it. It's so close. <laughs> and it goes up there. Uh, so I'll have to mix up that a little bit less. All right, that was the last of the bag, that much. So we'll have just enough, I think, to finish, which is good. Just don't want to add too much water and ruin it. All right, what we got left? Oh, that was so close. I think I got. Do you see any spots I missed over here? All right, I think that's good. We had a little bit left over. We'll let this set up, we'll scrape it down, and then we can wipe everything down. I wanna look over there and see how that's doing. See if we got, if we can wipe off any more of that haze. It is looking super good. When he says we have a little bit left, we had a little bit left. There's a little bit at the bottom that we left from the bag. Don't want to scrub too hard. You will tomorrow after it dries, but this will get off most of the haziness. And what do you have? I have a little scuff pad. But then tomorrow we can go around and get a little bit better. But that's got taken off most of it right there. Right here is a spot that's really starting to dry. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be like lighter gray. I do believe so. Or something, something. wrong with it. Something going on there, but. Maybe it's not the grout. Scratch a good time. I think we're good. We just need to let the haze haze over, wipe it down, and then take the tape off, plastic, let it dry overnight, and then we can touch it up. We've got some color match caulking. We got our shim out, the light switches, and the outlets. All right, the grout is starting to dry, and it's very uneven, so we can't look at it because it looks terrible. Some spots are light, some are dark. If it stays looking like that, then I have to tear it all out, it's not all over. Are you like being it. serious? Oh, you want a calico looking? No, but why is it doing that? I think it's just drying. That's the drying process. Well, it better be. <laughs> Hopefully that's just the drying process because if it's not, I might cry. <laughs> I might cry. Probably right. not even might, I will cry. That's why I said we can't look at it right now. It's 
and like the ugly duckling stage. Come tomorrow morning, it should look perfect. But we'll find out. Or maybe we just don't look too hard. Right. Ouch. Do that again. No. <laughs> I don't want to. Getting out more supplies. We need to find these spacers so we can shim out our outlets so that way they're flush with the tile and not recessed in. Look at that. Nice and organized. Hopefully those are the thickness that we need. We got, I wanna say like quarter inch, three eighths, and then half inch. We only have four half inch, quite a few quarter and three eighths. So hopefully it's a quarter and three eighths we need. What do you guys think you're doing? I think I need your help. I don't think so. Grout is dry and it looks great. We love the color. It looks all even. This is before we do our final cleanup. So I think it looks really good we have a few spots like that we need to clean up loving it i gotta go kill all the power to these outlets so when that light goes off that'll be off i want to say when this light goes off the other ones will be off so haul it to me and let me know Thinking a 3 8 one will work. Hopefully I can get this on over the outlet without having to undo all the wiring. Yep. Our screws are too short now. So now I have to cut these ones to length. One down, five more to go. All right, that took me way too long. I was being pretty fussy. I have one box that I'm actually gluing the other side in place because it's got a little bit of a flex being a double gang box and I don't like that. So that's all set to go. I'm just waiting for that glue to dry. The side that's on the two by six is in place good, but there's a little bit of movement on the other edge. So I'm gonna try to get that tightened up and then we can put that cover on. Now I got another mess I can pick up and then I wanna just do a little bit of caulking we get color match caulking and get a couple of things picked up and then it's sealed up nicely along the countertop.
All right, we got the caulking all done. It's one of my least favorite jobs just because you gotta be careful about it and it doesn't wipe off nice and easy like painter's caulk does. But I wanna make sure it has a good tight water seal so we're not getting water between the countertop and the backsplash. A lot of parts done, we'll let it dry. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll get that cover on but we can turn the power back on and have lights and I can touch up that later on. All right, you ready to see what it looks like? Ready, let's see it. Put your window back in. Put my window back, I can't see out. We have pastures on the other side. <laughs> Ooh. Don't fall. Don't fall out the window. Dead on, so it's gotta go to the hood vent some. Uh, can you move over to the side a little? Really. Yeah, it needs to go over, probably an inch. It could go over a little bit more. That looks good. You like it? I like it. I don't like it, I love it. I'm getting down. Okay, be careful. just add so much color. It's a good little pop. The other day I was watching something and they had potatoes, baked potatoes, and then they put chili on top. And I said, I am going to make that. It looks so good. Now I can have beans and all the things. I'm like, I am making that and I'm excited. I hope it comes out good. So I have my onions going, then I added my burger, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add, so we have bacon ends. We have two more loads to go out. This is a load of firewood. And that is a load of pulp. And that is the last two trail loads of wood coming off the property this year. Let's take a ride and I'll show you what the new pasture area is looking like. This whole area down here below the house is going to get turned into pasture. It might take a couple of years before it gets all turned into pasture. It's around 10 to 13 acres. When I mapped it out before, it was 13 acres. I don't know. We didn't cut as far as I was originally thinking because I wanted to keep it the way it is. So we, it's probably like more like 10 acres. So yeah, I can't wait to see this all in pasture. It's going to be so nice. Just thinking of all the beef and sheep and pigs we can run out actually the pigs will run behind the house not in the area that we got cleared for gina's secret garden but the area more this way kind of like behind the solar panels we want to make a pig pasture out there so we can rotationally graze them in an area and then this will be for like the sheep the goats and the cattle in the future and we can be raising our own beef right here
Lord.